the energy vibration reading for all the sun moon and rising cancers i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of october thank you for your likes shares and support please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign it's very important in this month of um, october you have the energies of the hair energies you're a water sign and uh, the zodiac energy is going to be air for the two first weeks and for the two last weeks it's going to be calming down and very good for you cancers you have energies of the nine of water and the nine of water energy is a positive energies for you cancers um whatever you were wishing for your wishes and dreams are going to be coming through so i've been doing a lot of these readings behind each other so okay dreams come true wishes fulfill um completion enjoyment contemplation and uh, um achievement of your desires for you cancers okay so whatever you were desiring in the, this month of uh, um october your um, wishes and dreams are going to be fulfilled and this is going to be wonderful okay so for you cancers it's going to be um wonderful in the sense that all that you were wishing for is going to come true i love the energies of the water because um it is a time when our manifestation is going to happen we have four weeks in this month and your first week is the energy of the hurt energy and you have the number four energy so whatsoever is happening you're trying to bring stability to your financial and your materialistic world and that is going to happen for you because you have the two of cups the two of cups is balancing your emotional and your material world you also have the energy of the Sun coming out which is a positive and a good energy because the energy of the Sun is going to bring you um, wonderful situations and uh, your world is going to be fully balanced at the end of the month the energy of the herd coming in with in a, a, um, a hair in a air week is good because it's bringing balance to your world as we look at the message of the fire there's a message you messages will be coming in in the second week for you cancers and those messages is going to have to do with the six of cups you are going to be leaving something behind whatever you be leaving behind you are going to find uh, something better in your life there is going to be positivity there is going to be good things coming in your life because it's as if your guides and angels are going to let you know that you need to leave something behind and by leaving that thing behind whatever situation whatever is happening in your life whoever it is you will find much better people that is coming forth in your life and this is how the universe kind of clears people um energies and clear things away from people as we look at the third week you have the six of heart another earth energy which is wonderful so in the third week you'll be receiving little gifts help um, people coming in you will be helping people they will be helping you what to expect is the Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands is going to be very helpful and this Queen of Wands most of you are going to find her in the workplace or You'll be connecting with this queen of wands and this queen of wands is going to help you to manifest things this is a um, situation that is going to happen at your work a positive good situations um, um, she is gonna you know bring you and help you as you help her too so this is going to be wonderful so whoever you are um, connect with the screen of wands and that person can be uh, Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, they are going to be coming in in the third week to help you. As we move forward, we have the energy of the Eight of Hair. The Eight of Hair is a situation that you're not seeing something clearly that is happening around you in your life. You're a water sign, so things might be up in the air. And you have the energy of the Ace of Wands. A message is coming into you. This message is going to be 
of a in a psychic manner via your intuition or via um, the sense that whatever the message is the universal energies are bringing you this message and you need to be aligned and awaken you are psychic you um, cancers are very shh, very psychic so this is going to be positive for you in the last week it's a psychic week which is a good week so whatever conflicts there was it's going to come to an end whatever that was happening in your life it's going to come to an, an end you have two energy vibration of the earth energies which is wonderful whatever is happening the Sun is coming in and it's bringing new wonderful people in your life which is um, very good um, you are going to be meeting a lot of new people and these people are going to be connecting with you in the in the sense of positive energies so this is going to bring wonderful new possibilities and experience in your life the Sun coming in with the energy good friends warm friendship is going to be coming in and these um, friendship is going to come out of work situation people who you're connecting with at work which is going to be um, something very 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 um, positive because uh, um, it's going to be some people are going to find honesty in other people and sincerity in other people and this is good whenever the energies of these situations are happening and coming up it's going to be positive because what is happening it is going to be um, of wonderful um, energies because you are going to find out that a lot of good things are going to be happening for you and people are going to want to come along with you to experience them also which is wonderful the energy of uh, the moon coming up is trustworthy uh, someone uh, someone um, a message that is going to come in um, and this some some of you can expect trustworthy messages good information is coming to you but be aware because not all the time uh, the people are honest okay some people can be very dishonest um, some people can be sending through messages to you and connecting to you without you even knowing that so you need to be aware of who are these person and what is happening let's look and see what are the love energies for this month what? is coming in for you cancers for love you cancers are going to be protecting your heart and yeah you you cancers are going to be connect, um, protecting your heart in this month and there is someone you people are going to be connecting with the Taurus the Virgos and the Capricorns Taurus Virgos and the Capricorn some of you are going to be connecting also with the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarius so in the love aspect you some of you really are going to protect your heart for whatever reason it is and some are going to be um, connecting with the women are going to be connecting with the Taurus, the Virgos, and the Capricorn, and the men are going to be connecting with the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius. So be aware of what is happening in your love life because it's going to be something. If you're in a relationship, some people are going to be thinking of looking for something different. Maybe you're a married and you're thinking that you want something much um, something different uh, meaning that you'll be going out of your marriage to look for happiness and joy as we look at the zodiac energies let's see what's happening for the Sun energies the Aquarians will be coming in to help you and the Leos will be coming in so you have the air sign and the Taurus is coming in the Taurus person is also here in the third week the energy of the hurt energies are also here so this is very very positive so let's look at the Sun sign and remember that the Sun sign people are the people who were born in the day 
you are going to have connections with the Aquarians and some people will have connection with the Leo people as I've said and some people are going to have connection with the, the Taurus people so this is going to be of a positive nature whatever is happening understand that uh, this is where you are and this is where you're supposed to be as we look at the lunar energies we see the cancers and the Virgos coming in and Mercurius Mercury is the planet of uh, the unknown the unusual thing happening in your life if you are a uh, were born in the night you sh you are going to be having a sense with the cancers and the Virgo people so um, you yourself or the cancers and the Virgos are going to come in and they're going to help you to guide you with your intuition your dreams are going to play a, a, a role in your life because you water people in this uh, month is going to be having energies with the hair people and this is going to be a positive positive one so you know you need to understand what is happening around you and in your situation and with you because changes are happening and these um, zodiac energies are coming in to help you because the Virgos are going to help you to understand the intuition who you are and the Mercury's um, is information coming in at night as you um, go forward we are going to look at uh, what is happening for your materialistic gains abundant mind you need to keep an abundant mind so if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future then it will always be one day away from you see feel think speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment and that is what you will experience this is very very wonderful so enjoy I want to say to each of uh, each and every one of you no matter what is happening in your life there's always something positive keep a positive mindset and you will understand how wonderful and how good this is going to turn out and I want to say namaste I love you all um, I'm sending you love from my heart to your heart namaste